Welcome everyone as we learn the venerable learning of Chokli Yisrael for Parshas Kisisa Yom Chamishi, Day 5, Be'ezus Hashem Yisbach. Al Besar Adam, on the flesh of man, lo Yisach, you should not smear the oil that was prepared for the Shem and Amishcha, v'maskuntai, and according to its uh, ingredients and weight in that composition, you should not make similar for your own use. It is holy. It should be holy for you. Rashi says, it's with two yuds, that you will act in order that it should be good for you. Uh, it should do good for you. Um, Rashi holds that the, the middle Yud of Yisach, the second Yud, is part of the Shairish. And the Yud makes it a uh, lotion of Yipoel to do an act. So you should not uh, smear it. From this oil itself, and according to its weight and ingredients, you should not make similarly the sum of these uh, ingredients. You should not make another uh, such of a concoction with the same weight with these ingredients of midas hin shemen proportionate to a hin of oil avalim picha iso riba samonim but if you make it less or more lafi midas hin shemen proportionate to a hin uh, twelve lug of oil it's mutter vafa osig b'maskunta ishalze also the one who makes. Uh, if there is made such a composition, uh, if using the oil that's uh, coated on it, if you use it, you're not chayiv. You're not chayiv chorus. The one that's chayiv is the perfumer that makes it. It means a total. The total of bricks, they shouldn't uh, be less, even though they weren't given straw. The uh, total of the Ketiris. Uh, let's go to the next passage. If a man compounds a similar amount, now this is referring if a person uses the shemen of Moshe Rabbeinu on a non kayin or one who is not to be appointed king, v'nichras me'amav, he will be cut off from his nation. G'var di'yavasem de'kavosei v'di'yitemine al chilonoi v'yishteitzei me'amei. V'asher yitemimenu me'oisu shel Moshe. If that which was made by Moshe al-zor, she'en etzerekunu malchus, that doesn't need to be inaugurated as a kayin or a king, and Hashem said to Moshe, take uh, these spices, notof, notof, as we will see, is balsam, the sap of the balsam tree known as stakti, uh, which is a, uh, a, aroma, a, a, a aromatic herb, and the shcheles the, the, the is known as onaika, the chelbana and the golbanim, samim and other spices, ulavain azak and pure frankincense, bad bevad yia. Each one is like the other one. Of these, uh, it should be mishkal shivim, shivim. Each unit should be the weight of 70. Vamadi nail moshe savlocha busman, a toif of a tufra, the chelbanasa busman, ulavonasa, dachyasa, maskal bamaskal yehe. Says Rashi, not of. Hutsari, this is balsam, or what we call stakti. Val she'enu el esraf, since it's the sap, hanoitef me'atze aktaf, that drips from the balsam tree, kori notof, that which drips. Obalaz goma, a type of gum, vatsari kori noi teriyaka. Ushcheles, shcheles, as we said, was onaika, shayrish baisim, it's a root 
of a uh, aromatic herb. Cholok, it's smooth. Umatzir kitziporin, and it shines like a nail, a fingernail. Obalashen amishnah, therefore, kari tziporin. It's called a tziporin. V'zeu shetirgem unkelis, and that's why unkelis gives it the targum of v'tufra, which is a nail. V'chelbena, boysim, it's a spice shereikoi ra that has a foul odor. V'karin alei galbana, it's galbanon. Why is it included amongst the 11 Ketaris? To teach you, it shouldn't be light in our eyes. To combine with us when we make a group for fasting and prayers, we should embrace as Paisha Yisrael, the sinners of Yisrael, that they should be included amongst us, even though they have a foul smell. Samim, and it says Samim means Acherim, other spices, Ulevayna Zaka, and pure frankincense. Mekan Lamdum Rabbi Seinu, from this Pasik we learn out, we derive that Achad Asr Samonim Nemru Loyla Moshe Mi Sinai, that 11 spices were given to Moshe at Sinai, because first it says Kach uh, Samim, now Samim, it, it, the smallest plural is two. So it says, Miut Samim Shnaim, so that's two. Then, not of Ushkelas Vichelbana. Then it says, an, a, another three, the, the uh, Stakti, the Anaika, and the Galbanon, that's Shlesha. So that's a total with the first Samim, that's Harikamisha. And then it says, Samim again, which is uh, another equivalent Samim to the five. The Rabbis Oid Kemoy Elu, another five. Then Hariasa, that's ten. Ulevayna, and then it says the frankincense, Hari Echad Asa, that's 11. Ve'eluhein, what are the 11? Hatsari, the, uh, the, the balsam, or the stakti, Vatsipurn, the Yonaika, Chelbana, uh, the Gorbanon, Valavayna, the frankincense, Mor, that's the mir oil, Ukitsia, which is Kasha, Shibala Sneid, that's spikenard, Vikarkum, that's uh, crocus, that's Hari Shmaina, Shashibalus Venerd. Shibalus Venerd is actually one. Echad, Shanerd. The Nerd uh, is Daimala Shibalus, is similar to a spike of uh, wheat, and it's called a spikenard. And Hakosh, that's Kostas. Vakilufa, that's a bark that has an aroma. Vakinamain, and cinnamon, Hari Echad Asa, that's 11. The Bayris Kashina. The, bay, the, the kashina soap, ain't no nectar, that's not one of the spices. Now the boy shofen as a tziporin, with this soap they rub the tziporin, the, uh, the uh, 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 onaika, the labna, it, to sh- make it whiten, to shine it, that it should be pretty. Bad bevad yiyeh, uh, each unit is like the other one. Elu arba aniskar and kan, these four that I mentioned here, Use shavim mishkal b'mishkal. They should have the equal weight. K'mishkal is shelzeh, kach mishkal is shelzeh. Bad bevad yia means like the weight of one is the weight of the other. V'chein shaninu, like we said, hatzari, v'atziparin, v'achelbana, v'alavayna. The balls and the anaika, the golbana, and lavayna, mishkal shirun shem mwana. Each one is 70 apiece. Lush and bad, the term bad, near by inay shu lush and yochid, it's a unit. Echad, one like one should be, one like the other. You should make the incense, a blend, the uh, performance of a perfumer, well mixed, tar, it should be uh, pure and kodesh and holy. A mamulach, what does mamulach mean? So Rashi uh, tells us it means it means mixed, blended. That the grinding should be mixed very well one with the other. Now Rashi explains the etymology of mamulach. What's the etymology of mamulach? The Imrani should daimalai, it's similar to malachim, those that paddled with oars. Or malachayich v'chol the paddlers and the uh, 
the rowers and the sailors. Al Shem Shemahapchnesamayim they turn over the water when they use the uh, paddles, when they're uh, when they use the oars, kishemanigim as a svina, like when they direct the boat, kaodem amishapech bekaf beim trufais, like a person who mixes already um, mixed eggs la orvan imamayim, so he beats them to mix them with water. We call davish shaodem roitzel la arav yafi yafa, whatever he wants to mix very well. Mahapchay be etzba, he he spins it around, he, he, he mixes it around either with his finger or with a spoon, that's called memulach. Memulach tar kodesh, memulach yeh, it should be mixed, vitar yeh, it should be holy, and the kodesh yeh, it should be, uh, it should be, excuse me, vitar yeh, should be pure, uh, not contaminated, the kodesh yeh, and it should be holy. You should grind from it very fine. And you should put it before the uh, edus, that's the uh, the Aron uh, HaEdus, the uh, Ark of Testimony, in the Beis uh, HaMikdash, in the Mishkan. Hashem says, that's where when I uh, talk with you, Moshe Rabbeinu, I meet you there. Kodesh Kadoshim Tia Lachem, Holy of Holies, it should be for you. Besishkoik Minov Sadik, Besitim and Akadam Sadusa Bamashkan Zimna, the Azaman Memri Lach Taman, Kodesh Kutchin Te Lachain, says Rashi Vinasatam Imena, He Ketiris, this Dictorish of Hol Yom Vyom Shalom is Beach Apnimi, which is often in the inner Mizbeach. The Mizbeach Azov, Shuba El Maid, which is inside the Mishkin. Asheri Vod Lecha Shama, that's where I meet with you there. Kol Moade Dibush Ekfalach, any meeting where I uh, where I fix a time, an appointment to speak to you. Ani Koivam Loisamak, I make it in that place in the Mishkin. That's why it's called the Oyel Maid, the tent of meeting. And now, after Elio uh, had uh, triumphed over the Nevi'ah Baal, the false prophets of Baal, and had killed them, Vayam Elio Liachov, now it was ready for the time of the famine to stop, and it would be once again worthy to have rain. Vayam Elio Liachov, Elio said to Achov, Alei Echolosh say, you could go now and eat and drink, Kikol Hamoin HaGoshem, because uh, I am assured that we will soon hear the uh, tumult, the noise of a downpour of rain. Vayala Achav Lechol, the Lishtos, Achav went to eat and to drink, Velio Ola El Roisha Carmel, and he went on the top of Mount Carmel, Vayigar Arsa, bowed down to the floor, Vayasa Pana Ben Birkov, and he placed his uh, uh, head between his knees in prayer. Vayimri El Naray, and he said to, to the youth that is with him, Aleina, go now and have a derech yom and look at the water, look from the mountain to the sea, because what would happen is, is clouds would form over the sea and pump the vapor from the sea and then bring rain. So Aleina, have a derech yom, look at the sea. Vayal vayabet, he went and he looked. Vayomer ein ma'ume, he said he sees no clouds. Vayomer shuv, and he kept on telling him to go and look. Sheva pa'am, seven times. Vayhiba shviyas, and when it came to the seventh time, Vayomer and the, he, he, the young lad said, Hine of kitana, there is a small cloud forming, kikaf ish, like the palm of a hand, oila miyom, coming up from the sea. Vayomer, and he told him immediately, Alei, go up, emor el achav, tell achav esor, saddle up your uh, horse, v'raid, and go quickly down, Ya to go home, v'lo ya tzorch ha'geshem, that you shouldn't be stopped by the rain. Vayhi ad koi v'ad koi, in the meantime, by the time he got to him, v'ashemayim is kadru oven, the whole heavens were full of dark clouds, it got dark with clouds, darkened with clouds, the ruach, and there was a wind, v'yi geshem godel, there was a great rain, v'yirk of achav, and achav rode, v'yelech Yisraela, and he went to his palace in Yisraela. Malva Hashem chonein dal, one who 
is gracious to the poor is, is, is if he is giving a loan to Hashem. That means Hashem is indebted to him. And his reward he will pay to him if this person uh, gets sick, the one who gave the tzedakah, the one who gave tzedakah, the reward will be that Hashem will come to his rescue when he is in his time of need. Yaser bincha, chastise your son. And even if he doesn't listen, kiesh tikva, because at the end there is hope that the fruit of your chastisements, even though initially the son doesn't seem to listen at all, and, and to the contrary, is rebellious, there is hope that he will listen. But although you chastise him and perhaps hit him, don't even think to kill him. Now, at first glance, this uh, seems to be, well, quite obvious. And the father shouldn't kill his son. I mean, that would be Yatzaskar Behefseide, and of course that would be a murder. Uh, but it, perhaps in today's day and age, we could understand it, that even though we have a mitzvah of chinuch, but if it could cause the child to commit suicide, then we have to desist, and we have to wait until the child's roi to be mekabal the teichacha. Uh, gedol chema, if a person acts out of rage and out of great anger, nesei einish, he will uh, eventually bear penalty and punishment for acting in anger. Keep, rather, im tatzel, if his enemy is in trouble and instead of getting angry at him and acting in anger, he goes and saves him, v'oytoysef, this self-control and this uh, subduing your yetzer, your yetzer hara, will give one arichas yam. Shma Eitza, now Shlomo Melech says to the child, listen to counsel, the Kabbal Musr, and accept the rebuke, accept the chastisements. Laman tech kam secha, because then you will be wise in your future. It will serve you good to lis- listen to the Musr. Rabbi Smach Shavis Blevish, a person has many plans and many thoughts and, 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 and many hopes. But Vatsas Hashem, but only the counsel of Hashem, he succum. That is what that is what uh, is going to actually be upheld. Uh, everything else, uh, everything else is not. It's only what the will of Hashem is that will uh, determine what a person's fate is going to be. And now today's adventure in Mishnayis is the seventh parak of Menachis. So it's going to talk, first of all, about those karbonas that are, are accompanied by uh, bread or by matzah. So I tell you that the Thanksgiving offering is in the seventh parak of Menachis. The tithe of the Thanksgiving offering came from five Yerushalmiyos. Now, the Yerushalmiyos were a fifth bigger than the uh, weight at the time of the Midbar, which are called Midbariyos. At the time of the Midbar, it was six. Now, we know that the uh, 40 loaves of the uh, of the uh, taida were made up of shtei eifos, were made up of two eifa, and uh, each eifa was shalish son. Her eifa, shalish son, each eifa was three sa, uh, and since it says that an eifa was, uh, <coughs> each eifa was uh, uh, ten isarn, so therefore, two aphas are 20 isarin. So, esrim isarin, 20 isarin. And the, these were divided equally between half for the 10 loaves of chametz and half for the 30 loaves of matzah. 
because there were four varieties. One variety, one ten was chametz. The other three varieties, dirty loaves, were matzah, were unleavened. And asar le chametz, ten isarin went to the chametz, vasar le matzah, and ten isarin went to the matzah. Asar le chametz, ten isarin for the chametz. Now, since there's ten lo- loaves and there are ten isarin, so that means that uh, isarin le chale, each loaf of chametz was one isarin. And there were ten isarin for the matzah, which we said comes in three varieties. Over matzah shloishaminim, the matzah, there were three varieties. Chalais, urikikin, uravucha. Loaves, wafers, and deep fried. Now, since there's ten that has to be divided into three types, so shloish esreinus ushlish lechol min, that means three and a third isarin, for each min. Now, when you take three and a third, and you, uh, that's, that's ten thirds. So that means, shalosh chalos li isarin, three chalos for an isarin, bemidiyush, again, if it's three and a third, so uh, each chala was a, a third of an isarin, so that means that three chalas were in Isarin. Shalosh chalas, three chalas, or three, three matzas, or th- I mean uh, three matzas, three chalas, or three, uh, three wafers, or three uh, uh, deep fried. They were, uh, since each one was a third of Isarin, of the ten, each one was a third of an Isarin. So that means that three chalas, or three matzas, three rikikin, were an Isarin. Now, Bemidas Yushalmiyais, when we calculated in the Yushalmias, so we said the Yushalmias were five sa. A sa is six kav. So that means the six, five sa, five times six is thirty. So that means Yushalmias, how you shloishim kav. There were thirty kav. Chamisha asal chametz. Again, we divided half and half. Fifteen for the leavened, ten loaves. And 15 for the uh, unleavened types. 15 for the chametz. That means that of the 10 loaves, each one was kav and a half. Kav chalat. Each loaf was a kav and a half. The chamisha asalamatza. And there were 15 for the matzah. So that means since vamatza shloishaminim, since the unleavened were three different types, chalas rikikin uravucha, right? That means since there were fifteen for the three types, that each type got five kav. Nimso chamesh is kav and lekolmin. Each type got five kav, and if each type got five kav and each type had ten, so that means each one was a uh, uh, half a kav or shtei chalas lekav or two chalas for a kav. Now, you shouldn't think that this whole peric is going to be mathematical. It's not. So don't get scared about that. Now, another time that they used loaves to accompany the the carbon was by Hamiluim, by the inauguration uh, of the Mishkin. Hamiluim hayuvoim kematzah shebetayda. The Miluim came only without chametz, only like the matzah portion of the Torah. Taida. Chalois or kikim or revucha. Loaves that are unleavened, wafers, and deep fried. Now, also, the ayel nazar, the ram brought by the nazar, was also accompanied by two sets. Hoisabosh de yadais, it came with two uh, sets. The matzah shebataida, uh, two of the three. It didn't have the uh, revucha, it didn't have the scalded. It only came with ten chalas, or a kikim, and ten wafers. There was no scalded variety. Nimtza, it turns out that asara kavim Yerushalmiyais, the ten kav of Yerushalmiyais, remember, uh, they, they, uh, they, they are more, uh, will, will be converted to Shein Shisha Esreinais Vaduyun, which, when you figure it, of the Midborius variety, is six Isaran 
and two thirds of an isara. Umikula nayanaitel, and now going back to the taida, we we know that it had four varieties. It had ten of lechem, ten of uh, chalas that are unleavened, ten of wafers that are unleavened, and ten scalded unleavened. From each ten, you had to give one to the kain. You took one tenth of each of the four varieties as an offering to the kain. You took one of each of the varieties. Meaning it has to be a whole chala. You shouldn't take a piece. You can't take two from one type and none from the other type. She shavin. Uh, the first, first, there's two lessons over here. It says mikol carbon. Number one, uh, that the, they all have to be the same. They all have to be ten of each type. And v'shaloyito mikarbon lechaveri. You can't take two from one and none from the other. This is given lakoyin azorik as adam hashlamim. The koyin that sprinkles the blood of this shlamim uh, because the title is a var- variety of peace offering. Lo yia, he gets the uh, truma. Bashar and the other loaves, and that means uh, 40 minus 4, the other 36 loaves is eaten by the owner of the taida and his guests. Of course, it's kachim kachim, so it could only be eaten by male kahanim in the azara. Hashaychad as a taida b'fnim. Now, remember, the lechem initially uh, gets only kedushas damim. It is sanctified with the proper slaughter of the carbon taita, with the, the animal of the taita. Now, this next Mishnah addresses what happens if something went wrong with the shechita of the taita. So, ha-shoichet as a taita b'fnim, if he shets the taita on the inside, v'lachma chutz l'chayma, and the lechem was outside of the walls of Yerushalayim. Uh, by the way, I, I went ahead and I said that it's kachim kachim. It's not kachim kachim. It's kachim kalim. Uh, it's not. It's not kachim 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 kalim. It could be eaten in, in within the walls of Yerushalayim by even females as well. And anyway, hashaykher as a tayd b'fnim, one who shechts the tayd on the inside, the lachma chutz l'chayma, and the loaves are outside of the walls of Yerushalayim. They don't get sanctified like kiddush alechem. If he shechted the taita before the uh, loaves got a crust in the oven, even if all of them got a crust, except for one of them, none of the loaves become Kaddish. If, let's say, he did a shechita, but it was a disqualified shechita, it was a shechita of pigle, because he had in mind to eat it after its allowed time, or eat it outside of its permitted place, which is a shechita of pigel, still, kidesh alechem, the lechem is sanctified. Shechata v'nim treifa, if he shechted the animal and it was found to have a flaw, like a perforated membrane in the brain, like kidesh alechem, the lechem is not sanctified. Shechata v'nim balas mum, if they shechted the animal, it was found to be blemished. Rebbe Liezer aimer kidesh, Rebbe Liezer says that the bread is sanctified, but chacham aimer like kidesh. Shechata shaloy l'shma, he shechted it for the wrong designation. He shechted it as an island instead of a taida. V'chein el amiluim, and also the el, the ram, for the time of the inauguration. V'chein shnei kifse atzeres, or the two uh, uh, lambs of Shmuz, which are accompanied by the Shtei Alechem, Sheshachton Shaloy Lishman, if they were slaughtered for the wrong designation, like Kiddush Alechem, the accompanied loaves do not receive sancti- sanctification. Now, certain Karbanas were, uh, certain, certain Karbanas were joined by Nisachim, by a wine libation. Nisachim Shekitshu Bekli, if you sanctified the wine, in a clay shares. Vinimsa Zevak Pasal. And it, it turns out that the carbon was disqualified. Im Yesham Zevakha. If there's another carbon to Shah Yakurvu Imai, you could attach this libation to another carbon. Vim laugh. If there's no other carbon to be found, then you pasal Belina. Then since the wine is sanctified in a clay shares, if it goes overnight, it becomes disqualified. Vlad Taida 
the offspring of a taida, let's say you sacrificed the taida, which is a female, and it gave birth, usmarasa, or you said zetachazeh, so the exchange also becomes taida. Or mamafish taidasa va'avda, if you separated a taida, you lost it. Be'ifish acheres tachtel, you separated another one, then you found the original one. So both the offspring of the taida, the exchange, or the original one, after you already brought one, ain't tunun lechem. They don't need to be accompanied by 40 loaves. Shinema vehikrav al zevach hatoda. Hatoda with a heya yediya. Hatoda tunun lechem. The original taida needs a lechem. V'loi vlada, not its offspring. V'loi chafilafas, not its exchange. V'loi smurasa, nor its v'loi chafilafasa, nor its replacement. V'loi smurasa, nor its change, its exchange, tunun lechem. Needs bread. If he says, I accept upon myself a taida, now a dovashib a can't come for mice. So therefore, yavi he velachma mina chulan. He has to bring it and the bread from chulan. Taibin mina chulan, if he says a thanksgiving from chulan, velachma mina miser, and the loaves for miser, it's too late. Because once he says the thanksgiving from chulan, included in the thanksgiving is the loaves. So it's too late that he specified v'lachman and ma'iser. Yavi lachman and chulun. He has to bring even the loaves from chulun. If he says toidem and ma'iser v'lachman and chulun, once he says the toidem and ma'iser, then he could use money of ma'iser sheni. Because remember, money of ma'iser sheni is supposed to be eaten in Yerushalayim, and uh, you could use uh, carbon meat for that, and therefore. If he says taida mina ma'isa v'lachman mina chulin yavi a taida he could bring the taida uh, uh, he and uh, excuse me if he says taida mina ma'isa v'lachman chulin yavi he should bring it that way the taida from ma'isa and the lechem from chulin ha taida he v'lachman mina ma'isa if he says the taida it and its bread mina ma'isa. Then Yavi, then he could bring both for Meiser. However, although it says that he could bring um, from the Meiser, he cannot use actual grain of Meiser Shani for the loaves. He could use the money of Meiser Shani, but he can't use the grain. He can't bring the actual grains of Meiser Shani to make the chalas. Only the money of Meiser Shani. There's an interesting reason for this. Because we learn out um, the din of using money of Meiser Shani, we learn it out from Shlomim. Now, by a Shlomim, you can't use the actual grain, because, of course, grain is not an animal. So, therefore, we see that you can't use the actual money of Meiser Shani, the actual grain of Meiser Shani. So, even by the Chala, you can't use the actual grain of Meiser Shani. You could only use money of Meiser Shani. Menayin lo imahari alai taida. How do we know that when you say, I accept upon myself a taida, lo yovi elam in achulun, that you can't use your uh, Meiser uh, for dava uh, shebechayva? Shenema v'zavachta Pesach la Hashem alikecha. You should sacrifice a Pesach to Hashem alikecha. Tzayinu bakar. Uh, from the sheep and from the cattle. Now, that's a very mysterious puzzle because Pesach has to be a keves or an ace one year old, a yearling. So what does it mean, bakar? Bakar is large cattle. It can only be brought from one year old lamb and one year old goat. We juxtapose anything that comes from Bakr and sign to the Pesach. Ma Pesach Shubba which comes as an obligation. Ain't a boy element of Chulin. You could only use from Chulin, not from Meiser. Av Kol Dava Shubba Bechayva. So anything else which comes Bechayva, like a Taida, if you search, say Hari Alai Taida, Lo Yavay element of Chulin. Lafika Chaim Hari Alai Taida or Hari Alai Shlamim. Hoya Leheim Boy Mechayva. Since they come as an obligation, Lo Yavo element of Chulin. Vanesachim. Libations, bechol makom lo yavo elman achulin. Libations can never be brought from money of ma'aser sheni. And now we continue. That took a long time to say this mishnayis. Baruch Hashem, another parak of mishnayis in the books as we learn 
to be mekayim the mitzvah dibar to bum lasa is nachas ruach liyitzreinu. And uh, you know what I should mention as we are learning such holy stuff that there's a young girl that's going into open heart surgery, Sarafega Basleya She should have a refu shalema besek shachali Yisrael. Minolan de Malin Bekaidish. How do we know that if we're going to uh, change something in the area of holiest, we have to go uh, more? So, for example, if it was silver and we're changing it, we have to go to gold. The uh, shovels of these sinners that sinned with their souls by the Adas Kairach. They took those shovels, but also uh, some. They took those pans, uh, not the shovels. They took those pans, but uh, also some rikuei pachim. They beat them down as plating tzipui lemazbeach to be a cover on the mizbeach. Ki yekrivim lefnei Hashem, since they were used in an offering before Hashem beyikdoshu and beyikdoshu, and they were sanctified viu la isul bnei Yisrael, and it will be a remembrance to the bnei Yisrael of how these sinners were punished. But chila tashmi shem isbeach. Initially, they were used as accessories for the isbeach, uh, as pans for the isbeach. For achshav gufa shel isbeach, and now they're elevated to use uh, as plating for the isbeach itself. Asher shibarta b'samta b'samta b'arm the luchas that you broke you should place in the aron. Tani Rabbi Yisim alamit shal luchas v'shivrei luchas menachem b'arm. Both the second tablets and the fragments of the first tablets were placed in the aron. Mekan l'tamu chachacham sheshachach talmudai. Here we learn a very important lesson that a talmud chacham that forgets his learning loyalenu machmas onsay. Because of circumstances beyond its control, let's say dementia, we don't practice now in a disgraceful way. We still treat him as a Talmud Chacham. Sometimes the canceling of Taira, Zel Yisuda, this is actually its uh, saving grace. It actually uh, builds it up. By breaking the luchas, Moshe Rabbeinu saved us from being punished for the sin of idolatry. Thank you for breaking it. That sins. We don't shame him in public. You stumbled today. And the prophet also sinned with you in the night. Kaseyu kalayla. Cover his sin like the night time. Don't reveal it in public. Whoever forgets something of his learning due to neglect, transgresses a negative prohibition. Be very careful of Shmur Nafshakam Aid and take heed with your soul very much. Pantishkach es advarm, lest you forget the words. Now, how do we know that forgetting is a lav? Whenever it says he shomer, pen or al, ain't I eloisa say that's a negative prohibition. Therefore, Ravin Amar. Uh, he shamer pen shnei lavenin. He shamer pen since it says over here he shamer and also pen tishkach. It tells us this is two laven. Rav Nach by Yitzchak am a bishloy shalaven because it says shmer twice. Shenema he shamer lecha ushmer nafshach ma'ayid. So it says shmer twice and it says pen tishkach as advarm. It says pen once. That's three laven. Yochal afilu machmas einzay. I might think it's even because of circumstances beyond his control, like for example, he got sick or he was very busy because of his parnasa, or he needed to, to do a mitzvah sheini yochel and that's why he forgot it. If you remove it from your heart, only only if it's your neglect that you actually removed it from your heart. I might think even if the learning was very difficult on him, he didn't understand it so well, that's why he doesn't remember it. Or maybe he learned a lot and therefore it was hard for him to remember it all. Rak is a miyat, it's only if it's neglect. 
Rabbi Yechon Rebbe Lazar Amin Trevayu Torah Nitna Barba. The Torah was given in forty days at Har Sinai. On the Shema Nights of Barba, we know that the Yitzira Savlad is. It says Barba Yomli Yitzira Savlad forty days for the creation of the fetus of the embryo. Kol Amishamet Torasei. Whoever guards his Torah is careful to review it. Nishmasei Mishdameres. His soul will be protected. Because Sheinu Mishdameres Torah. But whoever is not careful, he doesn't. Have regard to review his Torah. Ain't Nishmas and Mishdameris. His life won't be protected. Taner Bey Rabbi Shmuel. Mashal Adam Shemasa Tzipa Dror LaAvdei. He gives a bird of freedom, a swallow, to his servant Amar, and he tells him to watch it. Kemeduma Ata Shem Ata Ma'Avda. If you lose it, Shani Noitel Memcha Iser B'Dameh. I'll just take an Iser of its value. Nishmas Shani Noitel Memcha. I'll have your life if you don't watch it. And therefore, Hashem gave us the Torah, and He said that guard it, guard it with your life. Lafika kolam mishama es Torah. Whoever guards his Torah, nishmasa mishdameris. He should, he guards his life. You know, it says about Torah that hasof einecha boy veinenu. It's not like riding a bicycle. You say you never forget riding a bicycle. It's not like playing chess. You come back to it, and it comes right back to you. By Torah it says, "Hasaf einecha boy." If you close your eyes from it, veinenu, and it's gone. So therefore, there's no time off when it comes to learning Torah. And now we learn a, a very esoteric Zayar. Uh, the Zayar wants to know why before the Chet Egel, it says the Mishkan was called Oyel, and then afterwards it was called Oyel Mayed. So the Karolai Oyel Mayed says the Zayar, the Chi Loyava Bekad Mesa Oyel Mayed. Initially it wasn't called the Oyel Mayed. Elabikadmesa oil stam. It was originally called oil stam. But hashta, after the hate of the eagle, oil mayed. It's a tent of meeting. So my mayed, what is the addition of this word mayed? So Rabbi Lazar Amalatov. Rabbi Lazar explains it in a favorable way. But Rabbi Abba Amalavish. Rabbi Abba explains it in a negative way. We're going to spend a lot more time on Rabbi Abba's pshat. Rabbi Lazam Latov, Rabbi Lazam says it in a favorable way. Ma mayed de iu yoim chedva de siara. Ma mayed, which is a day of joy for the siara. Siara, which is of course the moon, but it's also a metaphor for the shkinak daisha, for midas hamalchus. So a mayed is a time of joy for the shkina, the taisva be kedusha, there's an addition of kedusha. Musa and uh, on the Mayed, the uh, moon, we know the Madim uh, uh, Pesach and Sukkot on the 15th of month, where the moon is complete, it's whole. So uh, uh, there, Musa, there is no blemish in the moon. Of Hacha Kari Labishmada, it calls the oil now Moed, which has a good connotation. It's the time of the happiness of the Shechina. And the Shechina doesn't have a blemish. La'achza, to show, da isrichik bibeinayu, even though we were distanced uh, from us uh, because of the sin of the Egel Azav, but v'loi ispegim, the Shechina was not blemished. Valda v'kara lo'i oil mo'yiksiv. It shows uh, a reassurance that the Shechina is still uh, with us and in, in, in its fullness. However, Rabbi Abba Amalavish, Rabbi Abba says that the word Mayed is added in a ne- negative way. Da'abba Kadmesa, beforehand, have a oil stum. Uh, it was a tent that could not be budged. Kamadat Amma, like it says in Yeshaya, oil bal yitzan, a, a tent that can't be uprooted. Bal yisa yiseid of lanetzach, its pegs will never be removed forever. However, vahash oil Mayed. And now it's an oil mayed. Now it becomes only a tent of meeting. Bikadmesa initially lemahav chayin aruchin laolma. Before we sinned with the egel azav, there would have there would have been a long life forever. The lo yishlut bahomaisa, there wouldn't be any domination of death. However, mekan lahala oil mayed. It's a tent of meeting. Kamada at oimer. It says about the cemetery, that that's a place 
of meaning for all life. And it, it will be that there will be only uh, a season. Hashta Isya Bez Zimna, there is now a, a time limit, the Chayin Ktsuvin La'alma, and only a specified amount of life. Bekad Mesa Lo Yispigim, beforehand, the uh, Shrina was not blemished. But the Hashta Yispigim, now there'll be a period where the moon is blemished. Bekad Mesa, beforehand, Chavrusa Bezivuga La Sierra Beshimsha, there was companionship and joining for the moon, which represents the Shrina, uh, the Mid of Malchus, Bishimsha, with the uh, sun, with Kuch uh, which is the Mid of Teferis, the Lo Yadun, and they, they would not be separated. Hashta Oyel Ma'id, now it's only a time where it will be certain meaning. The Vugan del the synthesis of Kuchibrihu and Shrinte, will only be Mizmanla's man from time to time. It will only come at a, a certain season. what didn't exist before. and has a negative connotation. It's called a tent of season because there's a season for the whole world, a finite time where everybody will live. Valda Rosa de Mila, and to uh, analyze further, and the secret, Valda Rosa de Mila, the secret of the thing, is Yamina la Ila, there is a, a right above. Now, the right, of course, is the Midas Chesed. There is a Midas Chesed above, the Is Yamina la Sata, and there's a Midas Chesed below which is involved with the Sitra Akra, and that's chesed with ulterior motives. Ismala la'ela, there's a kayak of gevura above. The ismala la'tata, and there's a kayak of gevura below. Is yamina la'ela, there's a kayak of chesed above, b'kedushi la, with the celestial holiness. The is yamina la'sata, there's a yamina below, a chesed below, the iba sitra akra, that gets mixed with the other side, mixed with the kayak of the Yetzirah. Ismala la'ela, there's a kayak of gvura above, b'kedushi la, with uh, uh, celestial holiness. Le'is'ara rechimusa, to cause love. Le'is'kashra si'ara ba'asa kadisha, to tie uh, the, the moon to its holy place. It's synthesis with the sun. That's yishchina b'kutcha b'richo. Le'ela above, le'is'na'ara, to cause illumination. However, Unfortunately, the Ismala Lisata, there is a Kayak of the left below, the Kayak of Gruer below, the Afrish Musa de Laela, which separates the love from above, the Afrish La Mila Anhara Bishimsha, and it separates it from being enlightened, the the Shina with the Kuchibarisha with the sun, or the Skarva Bade and to to achieve that unity. The Do Sitra the Khiv in the Khivya Bisha, and this decide of the evil snake. The kat smaller dal de la sata is aras because when this kayak of gvura of the left awakens below, kidain mashukla lisara, it lisara, it pulls away the shchina, the afrishlach meleila, and separates it from kuchabarichu. The is chashkas nairasa, and the divine light is darkened. The is dapkas bechivya, and we get attached to the snake. And that draws death below to everybody. The Stapkas Bechivya, we're attached to the snake, to the Koyach of the Sitra Achra. And we become distanced from the tree of life. This causes death to the whole world. This is when the Mikdash was polluted. Until the Mirz Hashem, the Kates of the Geula, the Istakim is Siara, then the Shechina will be, and the moon, which is the Shechina, will be corrected. The Savas Anhare will uh, then uh, return to illuminate the Dohu Oil Mayan. And that is the sad um, implication of Oil Mayan. While though Yeshua lay miss, and therefore Yeshua didn't die, Yeshua, who had no Chalik at all, remember Yeshua ben Nun stayed by the mountain and he didn't join the Klal Yisrael at all, so he had no Chalik in the Egel Azov, he couldn't even be faulted for not being Meichah, for not 
rebuking the only reason Yeshua died only because of the curse of the Nachash the car of a pog and mashkana kid because after the sin of the egel azov, it uh, blemished the mishkin, uh, uh, and they, therefore, uh, uh, therefore, it was blemished from the way it was from before. The do rosa, and this is the secret. The chiv Yeshua ben Nun nar. Now, the the word nar also means malachim that serve the shechina are called the nar. So Yeshua ben Nunar, he still had the level of those that served holy the Shechina. Da'afal gav di'u nar l'sata, even though he's a nar below l'kabla nahora, and he's worthy to accept the light, lo yamish mitaycha oil. He wasn't able to budge from the plight of the oil. K'may de'isk de'bigim da, now that it became blemished, Tochinami is da, he became blemished as well. So Afalgav, remember in the last Zoya we learned that by Har Sinai we were given belts with Shemus Akdoshim that guarded us, and it was removed from us after the Egel Azov. But Yeshua didn't lose that belt. So that's what the Zoya is referring to over here. Afalgav, even though the Zina Kadisha Abela, he still had this belt with the Shemus Akadoshim, but came in the Ispigim Siara, now that the Shechina was blemished with the hate of the Egel Azov, he wasn't able to be saved alone from it. Mehahu Gavna Mamish, from the plight of the oil itself, and this is as is explained. Now, the Zayah finishes off in a positive note. Zakon inun tzadikaya, fortunate are the righteous, the yodin rozin daraisa, that know the secrets of the Torah, mizdapkin baba raisa, and they cleave in the Torah, such as we're doing. O mekayim in kra, and we uphold the pasuk, the sefer gisa bayam abalayla, you should meditate in it day and night. O begina, and through it, yizka lachayim alachayim omadahasim, one merits the future world, the chsev kiyu chayechet is your life in this world, the erech yamecha in the next world, it, as we say, bezeh u in this world and in the next. And now the Musa talks to us about the ugliness of uh, desire for delicacies and delights. Taiva satanugim, the desire for delicacies, ra mikala niskalil, is worse than all that was mentioned above. That's pretty bad. It's worse than kas and kina. Kibiyoisei gagrin, when a person is a glutton, yivieu lidei chemda, it'll bring him to desire, v'gazel, and theft, in order to satisfy his needs, u'shvul shek, and false oaths, with sinners abrias, and hating people that have what he doesn't have, a kina and jealousy. Daimel Esav, it's like Esav, shinema by haliteni na, pour it down me, like an animal. All of Nema, right? Ali teni no min adoy adoy mazef from that red stuff. All of Nema v'samka samta sakin beloyecha. If you feel yourself having such tivus, put a knife to your esophagus in bal nefesh If you want to be a man of spirit, then control your tivus. Ki al yedei kain because if a person has unbridled, uncontrolled taiva, it will lead him to yoichel even nevelus and trefus. He'll eat the stuff without proper shchito or uh, trefus. We call machalos asuras or forbidden foods. Uksev kol amel haodam lefiu. All of our work is towards our mouth, both in what we put in our mouth and also what we say with our mouth. Uh, like it says in Mesech the Sadhedrin, Adam la mal nivra. A person was created for the toil of the mouth. Our greatest achievement in life is the way we control our mouth, both with what we say and also with what we put in our mouth. Uksivu veten rishom techsar. The stomachs of the wicked are always lacking. They always want more and more. When we become fat, we kick against Hashem. And we turn away from Hashem that made us. will then get us to deny in Hashem because we're so busy with the pleasures of this world. You become full. And deny me. And you'll say me Hashem. Who is Hashem? 
And for all sins, a child is not punished. Or Ben Sarah Amira. Now, there's one opinion that Ben Sarah Amira is punished even before he becomes an adult. Uh, half a man of meat, the chatzi log yayin, and half a log of wine. Nizkal, he gets stoned. That's how bad it is, even though he's not yet an adult. The way of the wicked, they eat meat, and they drink wine. This sin of unbridled uh, taiva, if it will be atoned for you, add to Musan until you die. The gave a advice to Rabbi Yehuda, survey, don't become drunk, and you will not sin. And finally, if you remember, we said, the Ramam said initially until Ezra, there was no formula of davening and no set time of davening. However, Ezra Bezdinai, Ezra and his Bezdin, that's the Anshei Knesset Agdaila, Tiknu Shmeina Esrei Brachas Ala Seder, the 18 Brachas, Velam Hashinim was made later, so the 18 Brachas in its order, Shal Shri Shain is the three Brachas of Magan of Ram, Tchir Samesim and Atta Kaddish is Shevel Chal Hashem, Praise to Hashem, Vishal Achrein is Haidah, and the last three are uh, thanks to Hashem, the Emtsoyis and the middle Brachas Yesh Bem Shelis Kol Advarim, it has the principal things that a person needs. Shame Kamoy always the principles of Kol Khefse Ish for Ish for all the needs of man, Ulitsarka at Sibakula and the needs of the community. Kideshi you are ruchas befiakol in order that should be arranged in everybody's mouth. The Yuma do I son and people could learn them. We see a tfilas eluha ilgim and now the tefillah of those that did, were not able to articulate their own tefillahs will be shlema, will be a perfect tefillah, like the one who was articulate. Because of this tiknu kalabrachas v'atfilas, they enacted the blessings and the tefillahs mesurat, darais arranged b'fi kol Yisrael, k'day she'yei inyan kol bracha aruch b'fi ha'ilek, so that every person, even one who didn't know how to compose his own tefillah, would have a beautiful constructed tefillah. The chen tiknu, and then they didn't leave it up to us to daven whenever we, we wanted. The chen tiknu she a minyan at tefillahs keminyan at karbanas. The number of tefillahs should be like the month number of karbanas. Shtei tefillahs b'chol yoyim. Shachras and mincha every day connected shnei to meet them. The tamat shel shachras and the tamat shel bein of bayim. V'chol yoyim she yesh b'karban musaf. And any day that there's a karban musaf, tiknu by tefillah shlishes connected karban musaf. Corresponding to the carbon musaf, or tefillah she connected tamid shel biker the tefillah which corresponds to the tamid of the morning he anikris tefillah sashachar or tefillah she connected tamid shel bein arbayim he anikris that's what's called tefillah zamincha or tefillah she connected amusafim the tefillah that corresponds to the musafim he anikris tefillah zamusafim is what's called the tefillah of musaf. We want to thank you very much for joining us and wish you a wonderful Shabbos.